Why is rent impossible? Why are eggs eight dollars? Man, I wish there was an easy way to make money. Want to receive oh, God damn it, why did I say anything? Right now. Jesus. Elon. Why is it everything these days is just a pretty up version of gambling? Sports gambling, tech gambling, and anime gambling. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! But for me, I like the original form of blowing your paycheck. Poker. The Among Us for rich people. What I appreciate about poker is it's simple. No overcomplicated UI. A simple cast of characters. No additional DLC adding the letter B, you know what I mean? I want it to become better. But how? I have no one to play with. Well, when it comes to learning a new skill, we have to let go of our pride, be sensitive, and know ourselves. So I put it on my Nintendo DS and locked in new soup. This game and... Oh yeah, they finally made an HD remake. But these games have a bonus game mode. Here you can defuse nuclear warheads, protect the Mushroom Kingdom from foreign invaders, and... Gambo! Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Oh yeah! In that roulette! Yeah, the slots, baby! And oddly, a game with Wario in it, you'd think he'd be the runner of the casino, but the cold cut tempered Luigi. I had a bit of an eyebrow razor thinking if he could handle the job, but something about his charm and finesse, it really holds together the establishment. A clean shuffle, a perfectly straight face. Many would question his constitution, but he does his work so everyone can experience a fair game in this casino. I used to play this game a ton as a kid, but constantly I would be bested by Luigi. You know what, but that was then, this is now. I have a full paycheck I can spend in order to learn his ways. In order to get better, I wanted to overcome Luigi's casino and learn his inner workings. And I did. And it was worse than I thought. Today, we are gonna be breaking down Luigi's picture poker and reveal the truth a hidden discrepancy, and the chance to unlock infinity. But before we do that, we need to explain what picture poker even is. Similar to poker, you have five cards that you have to establish a win condition with. The only difference is you're receiving these five cards in your hand. The goal is, each player has the opportunity to throw away cards and get new ones dealt to them, and at the end, everyone compares to see who has the best hand. It's sort of done to teach people how the hell to play poker in the first place. Except in Luigi's version, we have even fewer win conditions. They're listed on the side here. It's not as expansive as poker, and there's definitely more silly objects with eyes. Which actually, it, it would be better if cards actually had eyes on the suits. Anyways, it's verifiably true that Luigi is worth less than Mario in the lore. Can you think of what that does to someone? But... When I say I want to figure out how this game works, what I really mean is, how likely is each hand? Can you achieve five of a kind? How does it determine your next card? So I went to work trying to break this casino. Before I did any unnecessary work though, I wanted to see if this had been done. Basically, I'm looking to see if the game has been decompiled, which is a fancy way of saying uh, I can read the game's code in a language that's familiar to me. If I can do that, then I can see how it determines RNG and hopefully see how Luigi picks his cards. Unfortunately, I put new soup decompiled into Google and I did not get the results I was expecting. So this is gonna be a little difficult. It's only so hard because we are unable to see what's in Luigi's hand. If there was some sort of mod where I could view what cards he's being dealt, then this would change everything. But it becomes quite impossible. The only thing I can really do is use deduction here. We can assume since the top hand is five of a kind that his deck has 30 cards, five of each of these suits. So we know Luigi gets dealt five and I get dealt five. What strategy can we use to edge over him? Basically, we need to determine how RNG works here, or rather, how conventional randomness of shuffling a deck is communicated in this highly sophisticated side mode in a handheld Mario game. Do they actually have a deck with each of these values being shuffled? Does it have a formula that runs every time a card is drawn to ensure that the game is fair? Well, Luigi's a lot more primitive. The only tool at my disposal here is save states. 
which basically allows me to save where I am in the game, play a little, and then go back to that spot. But I discovered something truly interesting. You really thought you could pull the wool over my eyes, you green son of a bitch. If I really had a problem, wouldn't you think I would be able to tell? <laughs> Just me and the boys. Here, I start a fresh match. I'm gonna toss my entire hand out. I don't care what it is. And I'm gonna get five new cards. My first three cards are Mario, Cloud, Star. But let's say in an alternate universe, we didn't do that. It proves that Luigi should get drawn the same cards that I got. Lo and behold, they're the same cards. This is actually a dream for us because we're able to see that he chooses these cards in the same order whether he shuffles or not. Meaning we'll always get the same cards. So, if we can find out that order, we're one step closer to figuring this guy out. All because he gives us the exact same cards. What? Ah, did I do something different? Why is it changing between when I do different attempts? Maybe betting more changes something? Maybe it's the card I choose to throw away in the order? Wait, oh, oh my god, <laughs> it, it's so much easier to see, it's so obvious, it's right there, <laughs> it's been happening the whole time, right in front of my fallible eyes, you don't see it, it's right, he's staring at us, toad ass in the background with a martini, <laughs> look at him, you gotta love him, why don't you love him, he's always been here, this toad was the key to completely breaking this game. In my attempts to understand Luigi's fraud, I came up with nothing. I kinda just sat here for a while, watching Toad complete his part-time gig, circling and circling, waiting while I waited, delivering a drink that would never be consumed. I realized, counting the times Toad went from one side of the screen to the next, in a full rotation, changed the last card dealt to me and everything changed from here if you wait a toad rotation which i just started calling a toadtation in my notes don't uh the last card in the sequence changes meaning the second card moves to the first card slot and so on and so forth this game is completely broken do you realize what this means theoretically it may be possible to beat Luigi every single hand. Moreover, we could actually beat him with five of a kind every hand. If there's a possibility this list repeats, or they're the same list across many different versions of this minigame you open, then we can unlock the truth. The one caveat is a totation is long. 10 to 12 seconds at least. And even with speeding up the game, it's quite grueling. You'd have to be a madman to individually painstakingly list out the cards as they appear. He had me at madman. Card after card, deal after deal, oxygen being pumped into the air of this casino, blinding lights, frantic noises, Luigi violently shaking like a blender filled past its capacity, his blue lifeless eyes staring into you innocently all while knowing a deception is being played every 10 seconds. It all makes sense why he looks back at us, wondering if we're looking at him. Luigi's Casino exists between dreams and purgatory. Is it a challenge for the damned to recover any semblance of their soul? Or is it passage into heaven? Anyways, I did 100 hands and... I found shit all. There were also some kinks. Um, for example, uh, what, what happened here? All of a sudden, Luigi's a change into Mario's. And when I went and looked, this was happening with a bunch of things, but more so with Luigi for some reason. This is what I could only dub the Strodinger's Luigi. Meaning, there was a chance the card switches from Mario to Luigi, but then it goes back later in the sequence? But I realized, it's two cards that are next to each other in terms of value. We're talking clouds and mushrooms and Mario's and Luigi's. It's basic science. I hate to bring the mood down, but 
what's to say that this mechanism is not designed into the game to stop the player from receiving more pairs? What if it's a bias towards Luigi's hand? What if he's rigged his own casino? And the other problem is this still could be a sequence of numbers. The problem is the sequence could be like 10,000. So did we learn anything? This list other than the Strodinger Luigi's that happened still went through the list as it should have. This means you can technically achieve five of a kind if you get that sort of luck and you're willing to wait for the totation to happen. All you would need to do is have a good pre-flop of cards and throw away the cards you don't want. And in my best attempt, I managed to get a flush here. Five stars. Just like you're gonna rate this video. <laughs> but it is doable. Theoretically, if you wanted to make a tool assisted speedrun where you got nothing but five of a kind against Luigi, it would be possible. You'd only be standing around for a few hours. I hate that we were so close to figuring this out. I... I don't know what to do now. It's like I wasted all this time. Hello, this is your conscience speaking. Keep being stupid. It will work eventually. No. You know what? No, I gotta keep trying. If I don't believe in myself, who will? Sure, it may seem like a waste of time to others, but to me, it's valuable. So I have to overcome the doubt in myself, the doubt of others, the doubts of my friends and family, the doubts of banks, lenders, and loan sharks, because if I can play just one more hand, then maybe I can take it all. Nature's Casino. This was a very experimental video, but I've been working on it for months and I was really, really, really excited to finally release it. So, I, I mean, I think it's obvious <laughs> who the hell wants to talk about it. So, if you liked the video, please like it. Show me that you appreciate it in the comments. And please, if someone is out there, if they can decompile this game and solve this, I will follow up. I, I really just want to solve this and I couldn't. So, that's it for me. Take it easy and I will see you on the flip side. Yeah.